Well, you know, before we leave today, and it's turned off pretty nice, uh, this is actually uh, west of Denver, and uh, just a, a really nice place out here in the, in the bottom in a sand draw, and we got some good cottonwood trees and everything, got a good friend here helping me, and uh, so it's just a, a pleasant place. Uh, you know, when you're, when you're metal detecting and things like that, panning for gold, you're, you got the family out, you got the children with you, older kids, 20, 30 year old kids, you know, I'm 62 years old. My daughters are uh, 38, uh, 39, and 40, well, 38 and 39, I guess. And uh, when we go up in the mountains uh, in Wyoming uh, to my aunt and uncle's house for Easter, that's a time when we, we all get together, we all go play, and we climb the rock piles, and we act like little kids. And uh, we take our, my grandson, uh, my granddaughter, and one of the older grandkids. But you know, just being out, uh, if, if you have reason and purpose for this right here, Believe it or not, you're in a situation where you're going to have a family fun time. Uh, you know, get prepared, do the right products, be safe, you know, take some medical supplies with you. You know, you can survive a broken leg, a broken arm, you know, you can get hurt pretty bad. You're going to live and then it just builds good stories for later. You know, it really does. Um, the first time I broke my leg, I was seven years old ice skating and my two brothers and my sister had a lot of fun calling me a ball baby. Uh, get up, ball baby, you know, and of course they weren't mean, it's just, you know, you fall down so many times. Well, my leg was actually broken completely in two. Uh, the big bone, the little bone down in the shin, and uh, I actually ended up doing the second grade over. Uh, it was a bad deal, it got worse. The doctor didn't catch the little bone broken. Of course, uh, when I was seven, and I'm 62 now, so that was a long time ago, I tried sleeping on the table, sleeping on the floor. The bed was too soft, it gave, the, the leg hurt. One day, it was about three to four days later, my stepdad, who was six foot two, about 230 pounds, told my mother, uh, I don't care what he says, Etta, he's going to the hospital. And uh, so I went to the hospital, but you know what? That was the first time, broke it again later. And uh, I've had a lot of bo uh, broken body parts, actually. <laughs> um, but just have fun, get out in the woods, get out in the timber, go swimming, go hiking, find family-oriented things to do. Like I said, if you're doing things, hunting, hiking, camping, fishing, and you actually need products like this, you're doing something fun. Have a good day.